What's up, bros? We're back. And I have had a lot of you guys ask me, what the heck is that contraption that I'm wearing when I'm riding? So I thought I'd break it down for you, just a quick five, 10 minute video uh, about airbag vests. And uh, I'll give you an overview of what we're looking at here. These are two airbag vests by Helite. And um, they offer a whole bunch of different products. And what's really cool, and really the main reason you get one of these vests is because of the quality, the rating, and the way that the CO2 cartridge works. Each uh, manufacturer does their own sort of method for airbag vests. Um, Alpine Stars builds it into their GP air suits and jackets. Um, Climb, KLIM, has an option for a vest that is on the cheaper side at like 400 bucks but then you have to pay a climb subscription which is like i think another 200 to 400 a year um, if you don't pay your subscription the light goes red and your vest doesn't work so that's an option um, a lot of the manufacturers if this thing deploys hopefully not but if it does um, they will require you to send it back to them such as alpine stars and maybe the fourth kind of category is that you got Amazon brands of airbag vests that are like 150 bucks. Um, I always say the bro's number one rule is uh, always buy the best gear that you can afford. And if that means it's a $150 airbag vest on Amazon and you want an airbag vest then, and you're riding in such a way that it would help you stay safe and you can afford it, then you should get that. So we'll just get into these here. Um, these are two Helite vests. Um, again, one thing that's really unique about Helite is the cartridges are standard CO2 cartridges. Um, they deploy because it uses a lanyard system and that lanyard system tethers to your bike. Um, everybody always asks like, you know, what if you get off your bike and you walk away from it? Is it gonna deploy? Probably not. They take about 40 pounds of pressure to pull from the leash on your bike and it's usually meant for when you separate from the bike going down either in a low slide or in a high side so um, so that's kind of the method for deployment there um, they offer a little bit of a um, pocket here and in the pocket you've got your emergency card should you need it should anybody need it so if you walk up on somebody that's got one of these vests on and they go down you should check for an emergency card hopefully they filled it out um, this one is meant for like cruising style so if you're wearing a vest or a jacket it isn't a race suit um, you go with this guy it has hard uh, plastic all the way down the back and the way that it deploys is it deploys all the way around the waistline and then all the way up through the shoulders so um, little clips it's just meant to go over any jacket that you are currently wearing it's not really meant for being worn by itself but you know hell yeah brothers that's what you want to do um, over to the race side um, this is the second jacket that I got and the reason I got it is because I started getting a lot of gear that has the um, back and neck protector, that little bubble that sticks out and it doesn't work with the cruiser style. So um, what I like about this is it's all leather compared to the mesh and um, you know we like leather that's protective. It has this little stretch material on the side so it can go over a one piece, a two piece race suit, um, you know whatever it is. And um, it too has a little pocket hard to find it's up here there's a little pocket zipper under there I guess for you to put whatever you could get in there if you needed to it looks like it'll unvelcro um, and then same thing um, this has a nice little chest protector on it and the whole thing just velcros over you know whatever you're currently wearing it's really comfortable it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be and then you can see where it's going to deploy it's going to deploy all up in the um, rib cage area on the back side I guess this would be more of the spine and then you've got um, up through the shoulders as well it'll inflate all of this 
also. So you have this nice plump little vest. Um, yeah, really easy to get on. Um, surprised how light it is. And most of the time I am wearing some sort of a, a race vest um, or a race suit. So I like that. I did want to show you the, um, the CO2 is buried in here. Same little setup. I think it's a 40, 40 ounce, 40 ounce. 60 cc CO2 cartridge. And again, the best thing about these um, heat lights is you could go get that CO2 cartridge filled in a lot of different places. And um, it's cheap. And you don't have to send it back to the manufacturer unless maybe it gets like um, unless maybe it gets like punctured and you had to you know do that. These guys, when you do go down, they're not going to stay inflated, so they're going to inflate for about 10 or 15 seconds, and then they're going to slowly deflate back down and um, you know, that's so that you can get the gear off and you know it's not there causing a problem so it will drain out on its own and uh, they're easy to cut off too if for whatever reason you need to you just cut those shoulder sleeves off and take the whole vest off so pretty cool design um, just as far as pricing goes I got the vest on the left uh, I think for about 700 750 and the vest on the right, the race vet version, is uh, $915. And then they just came out, Helite just came out with an option that it is sensor based. So it does not use the lanyard system. What the sensor does is it detects, I think the climb is the same way, it detects certain crash parameters, i.e. flipping over the front. Um, and then it will deploy the airbag. And I've heard, you know, I'm sure mostly they work, but I have heard some scenarios where they don't deploy. And I'm not picking on any one brand or anything, I'm just saying it's the nature of integrating technology, plus they have to be charged, um, you know, a certain amount of time. So the, there was just a little bit too much tech for me. I didn't want to worry, like go to ride one morning and not have it charged or, uh, <laughs> You know, even worse. Um, you know, have the uh, have the sensor go off when you know I drop a glove and I reach down to pick it up. Have the sensor go off and and the thing deploy on me. So yeah, I didn't I didn't go that route. That sensor option is about a thousand. It adds like I don't know eighty five bucks to it, and you get the sensor option of the race key light airbag so um, again you know think about what gear is in your price range and does the best for protection these are not you know a safety bag these are not like quite the same as car airbags right but similar in some ways these are one extra layer of protection that may or may not give you um, some sort of injury relief so um, again, choose the gear that you can that, that's in your price range and you can't go wrong in that sense. And then as you buy gear, you start to figure out what you like the most and you know, you'll start to get, get the right system down for whatever you use. So you got the little neck protector in there. I also use a back protector that's inserted um, on the inside here. You can get these from Alpine Star. These will bend and mold, but they'll also um, spread the shock and absorb some of that you know, should you need it. I swear by these things, guys. Get your back protectors in. Um, get your hip protectors if you got them. And if you're interested, get your airbag vests. All right, that's it for today, folks. Later, bros.